Hi, I'm Kels. Um, I'm going to be making the Basque chicken. Um, I have added it to my week, which if you have cookie dough, if you have a Thermomix, hopefully you're using cookie dough and planning out your week and your recipes. Um, so in order to go to what I plan this week, I just can, um, so say when I'm on the home screen, there's these three little lines in the top left. I touch that, it says my week, I tap on it. My week's recipes come up and you can see what I'm making today and I click on Bass Chicken and I press Start Cooking. If I want to see the ingredients, I scroll underneath where that little arrow is and have a look at the ingredients. So I'm gonna press Start Cooking and I need two garlic cloves, 400 grams of onions quartered, so you never need to chop an onion again. Your Thermomix will chop your onions for you um, and 20 grams of olive oil. So I have already prepared the onions, I've just, it says quartered, but these are quite small onions, so I've just cut them in half. My two garlic cloves are in there too, so I'm gonna pop all of that in. And then my olive oil, I'm gonna weigh straight into my Thermomix. When I'm doing um, uh, demos and live cooking, I tend to pre-weigh everything. Normally when I'm cooking at home, I weigh as I go along into my Thermomix because the scales are in the Thermomix, so why wouldn't you? So I've pressed tear, and that goes to zero, and I'm just gonna pour in my olive oil to 20 grams. And I press next, and it tells me to put on the lid with the measuring cup. So that's the measuring cup. Some recipes will call for the measuring cup to not be in there, most have it in there. Uh, if in doubt, it's probably on. So four seconds, round to speed five. Twist that round, it's chopping. Okay, scrape down the sides. Let's just have a look at what we've got here. It has chopped my onions and garlic with the olive oil. Put the lid back on. And now it's five minutes, 120 degrees, speed one. I just turn the dial to where that little green line is. Um, and that is gonna cook for five minutes and we'll come back and see where we're at. So that's finished. Um, let's have a look. It has sauteed my onions. And then next we've got 20 grams of corn flour. And this actually says avoiding the blade. And that's the first time I've seen this in a recipe. And, and that's just because if you get some on the top, it's not gonna coat your onions properly. Um, on the top of the blade. So I've got my corn flour, I've already pre-weighed it and I'm gonna make sure it goes to the side and not um, onto the top of the blade. So. My lid's going back on. And we're cooking one minute, speed two, and it's at 100 degrees. So that's just finished. Um, that's where we're at. So we've had some corn flour in with our um, onions which are being sauteed. It now says 500 grams of tinned chopped tomatoes, which is a slightly irritating uh, weight because the tins are 400 grams, but I'll, you probably know I make pasta sauce at least twice a week, so uh, that'll just go in there. Um, I buy the whole tomatoes. The reason being, a chef once told me that when you're buying the chopped tomatoes, Essentially, it's all the bits, um, you know, they, they don't have to get the good stuff really to do chopped tomatoes. This is one of the better brands. Uh, not chopped, the recipe calls for chopped, so I squish them in my hand. Um, so any of you watch Jamie Oliver, you probably see he does a lot of this sort of thing. Um, and also it means if there's any harder bits within my tomatoes, I actually feel them um, and make sure they don't go in. So I just give them all a little bit of a squish so that they're more like chopped tomatoes. Just washed my hands and we're ready for the next stage. 350 grams of red peppers cut into strips. So here we go, red peppers cut into strips. So our bowl's pretty full now. There we go, these are obviously gonna cook down. We've got our onions, we've got some corn flour, we've got our peppers, we've got garlic. Um, and some oil. And now this is going on reverse, so it's not gonna chop down the peppers into small pieces. On reverse, um, speed one, eight minutes, 100 degrees. Right, one, and just to show you how we're doing. So some of the top peppers haven't cooked down, 
but underneath, can you see that starting to get a bit more sort of mushy? 250 grams of dry white wine. I'm just using a, a cooking wine. Um, and then I'm gonna top up with a bit of water because I didn't have any uh, dry white. Spoons of smoked paprika. Two dried bay leaves. And two sprigs of fresh thyme. Thyme smells amazing. Now we're on reverse 10 minutes. So that sound tells me that that stage is finished. And now we're going to put the Vroma dish into position above the sauce. Let's have a look at that sauce. Can you see that? Oh, it smells yummy. You can smell that smoked paprika in there. Right, so take off your measuring cup. That way the steam is going to go through to the Vroma. And our Vroma, we're supposed to weigh in a kilo of chicken done that already that's in there okay then 15 minutes Roma temperature on reverse so we're not chopping down too much what's in the bowl down here um, and there you go speed 0.5 so that's just cooking away now it's gonna steam my chicken in here I've got two layers of chicken um, and we've got everything else in the bowl Little tip, if you're taking out your um, Roma tray, use the lid and it catches the juices. It is speed 0.5 on reverse Roma temperature. So that's finished and it says transfer cooked chicken to a large serving bowl and then to put in 200 grams of pitted dark olives. Then 200 grams because that's just, it's 130 in the pot, so I'm just gonna use the 130. Okay. And then mix with aid of a spatula. Adjust seasoning to taste, then pour over the chicken. So I'm just gonna try it, see if we need any salt and pepper. Pop a little bit of salt. 